America's Got Talent, Simon Cowell advises English singer Courtney Hadwin, 14, to ignore his advice. Simon Cowell has been known for being forceful with his advice to hopefuls competing on America's Got Talent. The 58-year-old judge was so stunned by 14-year-old singer Courtney Hadwin in the first live quarterfinals on Tuesday that he warned her to ignore everyone, even him. Normally, I give people advice on what to do next. This is my advice, don't listen to a single word I say, insisted Simon, who made his name discovering and then shaping superstar acts. Do everything exactly what you did tonight. Because that's what made this so incredible. All four judges went wild with praise for the English team, especially Howie Mando, 62, who had used his golden buzzer on her in earlier rounds. Howie insisted that she was the biggest surprise of the season, the biggest talent of the season and called her Janis Joplin reincarnated. Rather than tease his fellow judge, Simon, showing off the beginnings of a mustache, walked over to hug Howie at the end of Courtney's performance of James Brown's Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. We should be starting a record label together, he joked of Howie's pick, adding, it was outstanding. Howie, 62, raised his hands in the air as if in victory, saying, I am so glowing, you are so amazing that Simon came over and gave me a hug. He then let out a wild scream after insisting, there aren't even words, I just want to scream and tell people to vote. Heidi Klum, 45, started the praise, telling the youngster, I have not been this excited about a new artist in a very, very long time. You definitely are in a category of your own. I love the way you dance, I love the way you sound. You are a very, very special young lady." Mel B., 43, meanwhile, pointed out how Courtney had insisted in a pre-show interview that kids at school don't get my music, telling her she sounds like a boy and dances weird. But we get you and you are incredible, Mel insisted defiantly. Screw them, I want tickets to your show tonight. And the next night, and the next night, and the next night. You're amazing. Host Tyra Banks, making a big impression of her own in a stunning, figure-hugging golden yellow dress, hugged Courtney who told her she was speechless at all the rays. Earlier, Simon was reminded that even when he does offer suggestions they are not always welcome. He had praised Mel's golden buzzer pick Amanda Mina, 14, as having the real potential to be a star, but suggested she needed to be in a group. Stop! Stop you right there! Mel snapped sternly, insisting, she's a solo artist and she will always be one. Sensing tension between the judges, Tyra, 44, told the former Spice Girl, Mel you were in a group and you're amazing, so I don't think it's a bad thing. Mel lightened up, joking, because I couldn't sing that good, I needed four other girls with me. The British pop star may have been testy because Simon earlier put her down as she was trying to say some emotional words of support for Amanda, who said she felt like an outsider after moving to America from the Dominican Republic at age four. After calling her an incredible talent, Mel said, she actually reminds me a little bit of me. No, but she can sing, Simon cut in, adding seconds later that she has a good voice when Mel tried to clarify her remarks. The exchange seemed to still be on her mind after the teen's performance, with Mel emotional as she stressed, I just want to clarify, when I say you remind me of me, I mean as in the story. That you didn't fit in, everyone told you to go back to your country, you look different, you didn't speak the same language. But you know what? You overcame all of those odds and you are here on this stage. And I am so proud of you. And that's what I mean when I say you remind me of me. Mel then smiled, I came here 15 years ago nobody could understand a bloody word I said. We still don't, Heidi joked. Simon sensed that Mel might not be the only one disagreeing with his opinions after he was the sole judge to criticize we three, the two brothers and a sister from McMinnville, Oregon, who performed together in the band. You want me to be honest with you? I don't think this worked tonight he said of the band whom Mel called very hot and said she loved everything about. To me, you looked like the support band with an OK song, Simon added to huge boos from the audience. Tyra then asked the band how they would make all of America not listen to what he's saying and Simon joked, well, they never do. 
so he's not, clearly, the king of music, Mel sniffed of the moniker Tyra had just given Simon. The other judges seemed as shocked as anyone by Simon's criticism with Howie having earlier predicted, I would guess that we four all enjoyed we three. Simon was not the only target for Mel's harsh words, she also managed a dig at her ex-husband Stephen Belafonte. Scary Spice had been so terrified by the latest death-defying act by Lord Nil, this time with his fiancée Maya risking death, too, by being suspended over rattlesnakes while he tried to escape a water tank to free her, she buzzed him, saying, I just don't get it, why would you do that to your wife? But when Howie asked her if she would want to do it to her ex, Mel snapped, Yes of course I would. But still. She continued to booze, it's just too dramatic, too much. I didn't like it, love each other and just go and live on an island. When Lord Nil later said he respected her point of view, Mel again advised, You were husband and wife, just love each other and be happy. In another life, I will try to sing, the escape artist smiled. When Mel buzzed, Howie snapped, You should be ashamed of yourself, Mel. I'm ashamed of you. He later quipped of the act, It was special, it was terrifying, and it was dangerous, that's an STD, our first viral moment. But Heidi seemed to agree with Mel, buzzing during the comments, and telling the act, You have to be alive to spend that million dollars, okay? Simon then joked that they needed something more deadly, more dangerous next time, smiling, I'm going to suggest we put Mel and Heidi in the tank. The British entertainment mogul, meanwhile, led on to a secret in his sex life when comedian Vicky Barbalak asked if he'd ever been with a trailer park girl before, and the judge smiled, yeah. You have? Mel asked with clear shock, with the performer smiling, and you remember it because it's different, it's trailer nasty. I think you just came up with your own sitcom, Trailer Nasty, Howie told her, then joking of Rosanna Barr's firing as he added, I've gotta tell ya, there's room right now for a woman like you in a sitcom. There's an opening. Simon, meanwhile, told her, I'm gonna have some very weird dreams tonight. I just love you, and I think America's gonna love you. I think you are just genuinely naturally funny. After calling her a strong, independent, Funny as heck woman, Mel admitted she liked it when she was naughtier, adding, I like it naughty. All four judges stood in ovation to Angel City Corral's rousing version of This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. Simon said their performance was heavenly. Mel then got booze when she called the choreograph cheesy, repeatedly insisting like cheesy, having also insisted, You made me feel good. You made the whole room smile. Simon was yet again unimpressed with human fountains and their bizarre act of spitting out water to music, insisting, it's the most stupid act we've ever had on the finals of AGT. This time their act also included them spitting out a hot dog, mustard, and ketchup with one of the guys then eating it, with Tyra admitting it stinks so bad as she went to congratulate them, calling them soggy, nasty, stinky, yet quite amazing. You must really love each other to share that much, Mel added. You are original and you will be remembered. Heidi, meanwhile, remarked, It's kind of disgusting, but I kind of like it. Diablo Jugular Mochi's performance with high-speed computer graphics behind him also had a powerful effect on Simon who called it like a roller coaster and said, I almost wanted to throw up because there was so much going on, and I mean that as a compliment. What you did was actually fantastic. It was a show. Howie was even more enthusiastic, telling the Japanese performer, It's precision, it's perfect, you need to be in the finals. Howie, meanwhile, got booze when he told Junior New System, the dance group from the slums of Manila, Philippines, that he was bored with the part of their act before they came out in high heels. Heel yes. Heidi joked. The fact that you guys are dancing in heels makes you stand out from all the other dance groups. I love watching you guys. Love it. Simon added, I feel for me this is probably going to be the most talked about act so far and you deserve it for all the right reasons. 
card magician Shin Lim wowed the judges with tricks that saw him spelling out I Heart America's Got Talent and vote for Shin Lim on the cards that he then made vanish, with Howie repeating his claim that he is by leaps and bounds the best close-up magic I've ever seen. As a germaphobe, I mean this in the best way, it is so clean, he joked. You are wow. If you are not in the final then America doesn't know what they're doing. After calling him like Harry Potter without the glasses, Simon said he wanted him to move away from the cards and bring more of a performance in the next round. I'm really excited to show what I have next, I think Simon you're really going to like it, Shin promised. It has to do with cards, but if I go through I promise you will like this next one. Foji, the 14-year-old rapper from Savannah, Georgia, whose dad was murdered before she was even born, wowed again with another organ song, Let Down. Rarely in life do I see artists with what I call steel in their eyes, you've got that steel, which is a compliment because you're a winner, Simon told her, I thought that was outstanding. Howie added, you inspire young people to be as good as you, as smart as you, and your message is always loud and clear. I think you're a star, I think people need to vote for you. Mel, however, warned her off the easy stuff and said, I love the flow that you have, give me more of that. You are unique when you do that, I want more of that, sister. High school students pack dance team went in hoping to impress Howie, who buzzed them last time, but ended up losing Mel, too, who warned that there's still something not clicking. I still feel like it's something that my 10-year-old would do at school, she said to Boos. Which is fine, but this is America's Got Talent. Howie had not changed his mind, either, telling them, this is like a million things we've seen before. I'll be honest, I don't get it. I don't. Simon, however, told the group from Walden Grove High School in Sourid in Arizona, I've always been a fan of you guys. There's an optimism, and it's fun. It's not perfect but that's what makes it great. Only 7 of the 12 acts that performed will get to go through after voting by viewers. America's Got Talent will return on Wednesday on NBC with their results.